Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Willard Shills, Death Slice Surfs, Peasants, Hillbillies, Moonshiners, Backwoods Rebel Yell. Woohoo! Hey, I'm a useful idiot, and, uh, well, that was kind of my lead in talking about North Carolina. Because the uh, voters there approved an amendment defining marriage as a union between a man and a woman. And uh, the only re reason I bring that up is because, uh, well, I want to bring up the bigger picture. First, I want to kind of hose on North Carolina a little bit first, because uh, pretty uh, ironic, of course, that North Carolina is the first state to propose an amendment defining marriage as a union between a man and a woman. This is the same state that gave us uh, serial adulterers like Newt Gingrich and John Edwards. Um, irony certainly isn't lost on me. And then, of course, we have those uh, pillars of uh, morality, Jesse Helms and Elizabeth Dole. Both those sticks in the mud were both from uh, North Carolina, too. So, um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say about them. Uh, what's going on down there? And then, of course, you got uh, Senator Kay Hagan, who's from uh, North Carolina. And I guess uh, you North Carolinians probably think she needs to be uh, home barefoot and pregnant or something not. But uh, anyway, all right, I'm not going to rag on uh, North Carolina too much because, uh, of course, it's a, a double-edged sword for me as a libertarian because I believe that uh, the states should have the right to do these things and uh, precede federal law. I don't think the uh, federal government has any business involved with uh, marriage, gay marriage, straight marriage, any kind of marriage. The federal government has no business in that. Um, and there should never even be any consideration of any kind of uh, constitutional amendment for such a frivolity. However, on the state level, I think it's uh, great. I think states should have laws like this, and therefore uh, people who live in North Carolina that uh, feel very strongly against this law, they have the choice to move to other states. So we have uh, states' rights and the free market operating simultaneously. So other states can compete by having more um, competitive laws and, you know, more liberal laws and more conservative laws, depending on the state. So therefore, uh, if North Carolina wants to define that, then uh, gays know they're not welcome in North Carolina, and uh, they can go somewhere else. And that's the way it should be. And that's the way it should be for abortion, too. The federal government has no right involved in that, and... Uh, if one state wants to have an abortion and another state doesn't want to have abortion, that's the way it should be. And that way that community can set the moral standards for their own peer groups, their own communities, their own states, their own cities. And, um, and people who have uh, major objections to those kind of laws locally can, can move to another state. It's really that simple. Um, and that's the libertarian view, uh, which I, I adhere to. Um, and to take it one step further, you know, if you don't want to have a gay marriage, don't have one. Um, but living in a republic gives you no right to inflict that law on someone else based on your own religious and political viewpoints. And the same with abortion. Um, if you don't want to have an abortion, don't have one. And if you want to uh, inflict that uh, uh, infringement of rights on other people, then you're in the wrong country, because this is a republic. Uh, we don't need a democracy where the mob rules, where 51% tell the other 49% what to do. That's not the reason immigrants have been coming here for over 300 years. They come here because everyone's welcome. Everybody's free to practice. Uh, we have some basic moral tenets in this, in this country, and uh, you know a lot of Christian uh, tenets in this country, and I, I think uh, the basis of our legal system and, and our morality should be based on Christian values. But uh, I, I don't think uh, anyone in this country has the right, even if they're the 51%, to inflict uh, those kind of uh, restrictions on, on liberties on the other 49% of citizens. Um, that's not the way it's supposed to work. So anyway, that's the bigger picture for me, is, um, is not whether somebody should have the right to have a gay marriage or whether somebody should have the right to abortion. Uh, more importantly for me, um, in this election cycle, this tells me that they're whipping out the same old tactics that they use every election to divide Americans. And that's what this story is really all about. 
um, considering uh, our perpetual wars and uh, the collapse of our economy, the last thing people need to be talking about is gay marriage and abortion. So for them to bring up these social issues is, uh, once again, political uh, opportunism and strategy of the worst kind. So uh, they're going to whip it out. Obama whips out the gay marriage concept. And, of course, Mitt Romney's on the ropes because he has to appeal to the conservative base. And a lot of them are fundamentalists. A lot of them are uh, fundamentalist Christian, and they have strong feelings about gay marriage and abortion. So this is a, a, a political tool. And just like always, every election, and I've seen quite a few elections, and, and we see this every time. They bring out the social issues to divide Americans. So now, once again, we got the so-called liberals and the so-called conservatives divided in separate camps. They might be they might be agreeing on the economy, but these politicians can cynically come in and divide us back again into ultra conservative and ultra liberal over these stupid distraction social issues like gay marriage and abortion. That has no bearing on this election whatsoever. This country is fighting for its life. And people are going to squabble over these issues that the fake two-party paradigm uses to make sure that everybody stays in their corners in these two separate camps and bickering amongst each other so we don't concentrate on the big issues, the economy, the war, um, the wars. So so once again, that's that's my big picture here is... This is another distraction. It's calculated. It's strategic. It's planned. It's planned to divide Americans. It's uh, planned to inflame and incite divisiveness and uh, this rivalry between these so-called sides. And they're going to be squabbling over that. We're going to go into this next election. And the same status quo bootlickers are going to get in there. And it'll be back to business as usual. And then four more years from now, they're going to drag out we're not going to hear about this stuff. In four more years from now, they're going to drag out abortion and gay marriage and all this other horseshit. So, so what am I trying to say? It's more bullshit. And people are, are lapping it up like uh, spectators at the Coliseum, Lions and Christians.